Hi, are you a confused investor? Are you one of them who's thinking as to what's uh, actually going on in the market versus the economy? How is actually the market's going up uh, versus the economy actually at a standstill or in a uh, lockdown or an unlock phase where uh, the offices are closed and still the markets are uh, on a bull run from last three, four years? Uh, it, it does uh, get jitters to the investor fraternity where they think that uh, we've missed the bus, we've missed the rally and now we have surplus cash to put in. Should we put in the money or not? And uh, is this a bubble or is this uh, was this a temporary run up and is this market going to really survive the uh, run up which has it, it has seen in the last three odd months from March to July 2020. So just giving you a sense of what's ha actually happened happening uh, between the economy versus the market uh, market conditions through this slide so uh, this slide also talks about uh, comparison between 2008 to 2020 which many of the investors are actually confused and they are comparing uh, the 2008 uh, recession to 2020 uh, covid pandemic times so well uh, these two were totally different uh, market conditions and economic conditions as you can see, the GDP in 2008 was 50 lakh crores. As we speak today, we are at 200 lakh crores. The market cap then was 75 lakh crores. Today, we are at 160, uh, 140 odd lakh crores. The market cap to GDP, which is a very, very famous uh, ratio to understand whether uh, it's an overvalued market or it's an undervalued market. So in, in, the, uh, in the month of Jan 2018, the market cap to GDP was actually 148% which actually made it overvalued and that is where we see, saw a deep correction and recession coming into. Whereas in Jan 2020, even in Jan 2020, we saw the market cap was 160 lakh crores which means we were very very comfortable position of 80% market cap to GDP. Uh, curse to uh, COVID-19 times the markets actually corrected uh, by from 160 lakh crores to 102 lakh crores by market cap and the market cap to GDP went down from 80% to 51% giving investors a lifetime opportunity to enter into the markets and actually since then it rose from 102 lakh crores to 140, 150 lakh crores as we speak today but still we are at 72% market cap to GDP which uh, means in no way are we into a bloated market or we are we into a overvalued market condition. The GDP is 200 lakh crores, the market cap is 145, 150 lakh crores which means we are at a very decent market cap to GDP ratio from an investor point of view. Somebody who is into trading can obviously time the market and exit and re-enter when the market again dips but at the same time somebody who is an investor and looking at investing for 1, 2, 3 uh, years, I would say anything more than 1.5 years is a good time to enter into the markets or to stay put in the market. So that was the message to those set of investors who are confused or who are actually having jitters as to what's going on and is it actually uh, a bubble which has created. So there's nothing of that sort uh, and we are very very uh, confident in terms of the market cap rising from here uh, from a long term point of view when I say long term means anything between 4 to 6 quarters we see a further rise in market cap and obviously till then from then the economy will also revive which means the GDP of India will uh, rise by say if not 10% uh, but at least 5% so the 200 lakh crores would become 210 lakh crores thereby maintaining the market cap to GDP ratio of anything between 80 to 90% which is a healthy ratio. Thank you so much for the watch. If you have any further queries on the above said uh, probably we can get on to a call or a discussion by uh, scheduling, scheduling an appointment uh, with us so we generally give links in our videos where you can schedule and uh, 15 minutes uh, appoint, 15 minutes chat discussion with us and with our wealth experts. So you're free to uh, click on the link and schedule an appointment as per your best convenience. Thank you so much for the watch.